Hey guys, STS here. What is going on? Welcome to the Simple Review. Simple Review time as it is. We're over here. We have our another. We have another movie down, guys. We have another movie down. I just got done watching it. Uh, well, I did was watching. I watched it last night, but I continued on today. And um, oh, probably this movie right here, which you already see the screenshot already. I clicked on the link. Probably one of my very favorite films of all time. This moves in the top ten for real because I think this will be also top five. Uh, but uh, the movie is Grandma's Boy. Um, my gosh, this movie is awesome. I fucking love this fucking movie. This movie's the shit. I, I just, this, this is one movie I can watch over and over and over. And it's my smoking movie. It's a stoner film, you know. Um, and I can tell you what, this film, I mean, also, I also had the movie too. I just rented it, I mean, borrowed it, because I wanted to check it out. But, I mean, it's just so fucking good. I mean, there's the case, and look at it, it has like a little Animal House homage. Uh, it's a Happy Madison production. It's an Ab Sandler's production company, I believe. Directed by Alan Cover, he's in it. Uh, I just, I mean, this is. Probably one of the best comedies of all time, too. One of the best stunner flicks of all time. This is a film I can watch over and over and over. I can tell you what, I'm going to watch this again and again and again. You know what I mean? This is just so fucking awesome. I can watch this movie, like, every day if I had to. If you told me to watch this movie every day for a week straight, like, I could probably do it, maybe. But then again, I don't know, it's kind of fucked up. You know, I don't know how, what was the point of watching it every damn day. Look at my fucking glare in these glasses. Fucking, because the damn window of my grandma's here, the window broke. But, um, this is also 10 years ago. This is a two, 2006 film. And it's like, wow. It's like, damn, that long. Um, but it's, uh, you know, the plot, I mean, you have Alex, he's a 35 year old uh, single view game tester. Who lives with Josh, who's Josh in the long run. But it's just pretty cool when it first starts out, you know, smoking. And then you see a Kevin Nash cameo. But he did he lose out, so he has to lose his grandma. So that's basically the plot line. And then he works at the, at the game list, which is the video game place. I mean, I would love to be in that environment. A view game everywhere, you know, like, come on, let's be champion. You know, they try to fight the champion, fight Alec, because he's the oldest there. Everybody else is in their 20s or 18 through 35, so he's the oldest. I, I love the odds, I love the environment of the gaming. It was, like, it was Brainyism or something like that. Or something like that. Something Brainyakism or Brainyism. The production company, the video game company, where he was testing. <laughs> Sorry, a cold. That was, that's pretty cool. But I, I've been all together to this film, and it's hard to, I mean, it's not really. Trying to get up here, I'm really fucked up in a way. I'm trying to remember it because it's so good. I'm just trying to think, like, well, I mean, the characters we could talk about. I mean, also, here we go. Before this book, I swore it is. Fucking good shit. Definitely recommend this. This is a 10. This movie gets a 10 in my book. I just, I just fucking love it. It's just so enjoyable. I can rewatch it over and over. I just checked out the deleted scenes, too. I like the deleted scenes on here. Um, there is a commentary, but I, I you know I don't really want to do. I want to do a commentary, but again, I don't want to watch it over the movie again. So, but I will check out the commentary later on. I did check out the the uh, the, the, the gag reel. Shoot. There's no gag reel. Oh, you yeah, have the characters on here we can talk about. But this, on the way, I definitely recommend this film. One of the best stoner flicks of all time. Uh, you can say it's one of the bad grandmas. Boy has it all. Bob Hicks, topless woman, and Shirley Jones talking dirty. Yeah, there's only one topless chick on here. And it's a MILF, and that's the one chick that Jonah Hill is uh, second on her nipple. And then um, you get Shirley Jones, who's the who's dirty one of the grandmas. She's one of his roommates. She's uh, the se over sexy. She's the sex doll. She is horny. She fucks with Nick Swartzen. But it's awesome. But you know, that's what it was. You know, he's a 35 year old go about that. And his friend screws him over because he gets rant like and he, he's funny as hell. It's great. You know, you're a hooker. You're a hooker. Uh, but 
he screws him over, and then he goes to back to the massage parlor. I wanted the massage parlor. <laughs> what a fucking sick fuck, you motherfucker. But, oh, he just goes to the view game play. So, it's so cool. Nick Swartz's character. I mean, he's. My, I don't know. I think maybe he's my age in this game. And he is something else. And he's he has the little car bed, you know. <laughs> oh, you want a stuffed animal? You want a bear? He was a bear. <laughs> and then we got the scene, you know. But we can uh, we can talk about certain scenes because I'm ran. I don't know. No, 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 I'm sorry, guys. I keep going one in, one into the other. Um, but because it's so good, um, you can talk about scenes of the. Uh, Scenes of the fucking when he's at his house and he checks off. <laughs> his mom comes up and says, Oh my god, I'm coming. I want to feel so good. <laughs> That's one of the most key scenes. There's so many funny scenes back to back to back. And it just gives you, it's a laugh, laughing torture nightmare. But it's not really a nightmare, it's just a good feeling. Oh, but I can hear myself from here. <laughs> But he ends up living with his grandmother, who's Doris Roberts, who's in Everybody Loves Raymond, you know, and I think she passed away too, not too long ago, but uh, she did, rest in peace, but not, I think she did, but she did a real damn good job, and then I actually watched some of the special features of the cast and stuff that, you know, they really wanted her, but they thought they're not going to do it because of the jokes and the, the language and everything, but she, she was enjoying it, she just wanted to get to go to the character, about what was she, her, her grandson. Then you have Shirley Jones, who's the Partridge family. She's the dirty one, and she want to play that character. And she fucks around with Nick Swartz and his buddy. And then you have Shirley uh, Jones. I think Shirley Jones. Shirley Knight. Yeah, Shirley Knight. And she plays B. She's just so hilarious. She plays all these one-liners. She's always so fucking coked up and shit. I fucking enjoyed that. But um, uh, fucking one of the things with the characters, you know, he, but then other smokes weed, you know. Uh, you, I mean, one of the scenes I like is the kitchen is the kitchen scene when he, when he gets real fucked up. And after he gets weed from Dante, which we don't talk about, you know, it's Dante's the best stoner in the world. Uh, but he goes and gets food and then he fucks, gets fucked up with his grandma's and he goes back in. He's like, oh, dinner time. And he puts his own hand. He, don't get any, he doesn't get any fucking gloves or anything. He just picks up and, oh! Ass fucker, ass fucker, ass jack. I think that's one of the most hilarious scenes. And the great shit. And when they get his beer on, the roommates get fucked up. Another hilarious as well. Uh, but uh, the hottest scene in the world in this film has got to be Linda Cordellini. Or Sarah Ann Winston. Linda, Linda Cordellini. Fucking gorgeous. Gee, she's fucking amazing. And I'm not just saying that. She's fucking hot as hell in here. When you see her here, she's right there. Oh, she's such good, good. She's a good girl, too. She's fucking gorgeous. He's her boss. And my God, he fucks the boss at the end. Someone's ass getting late tonight. <laughs> um, she plays a good character, Linda Carter. When you need this. She's just so fucking fine, and she's different, you know. Where's, where's these women at? Where's, where's these chicks that can be like this uh, woman here? She's like with the, all the nerves and stuff, and doesn't give a shit. Where's that at, fuckers? Where are they at? Because she played someone now in Coburn's character, because he's he's probably like a couple of years. He's older than her, duh. I mean, the characters were played up. But I fucking enjoyed that. I thought that was very amazing. She's sexy as hell. But what's the, there's the, the dumbass, I don't know who's the guy, we get the phone here, but the, the bad guy, basically the stupid, dumb fucking retard, uh, where's his name, Joel Moore, he, which people said that this guy played, uh, Kylo Ren or something on Star Wars, which it wasn't, it was just a fucking, I think, meme, or sarcastically meme. But Joe Moore plays this guy. Oh, that's this one guy. That's pretty cool. But he 
Well, he's a fucking stupid dumbass. I will fuck you up. I'll shut up. Like, he's a split personality with a fucking robot and shit. What a fucking loser. But he's, like, a the main creator of a certain game. So I felt like Alan was talking about... But he's a new game tester, but he was making a game of his own. Which I, I, thought was, I was like, what, what was this story about, you know? But we did find out, and it was great. He did make it. His grandma loved it. Hell, there were the scene with his grandma, Doris Robbins, playing the game and, like, having fun with it. It's awesome. Oh, I, 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 yeah, before this, another scene I love, we can just sort the scenes I love, because this movie is so damn good, you need to watch it yourself, um, is at the very end, at the very beginning, when he gets to live with his grandparents and grandmas, and then his shirt doors just goes up to him, say, here's your Chick-fil-A, here's a, um, uh, leftover lasagna, chicken, fish, he said, this is awesome, Grandma. Thanks. It just makes you feel that... It may, that feeling makes you... Oh, fuck, I'm trying to feel the same. It's a great feeling. It'll be when you're good. And I'm looking at this. I'm at my grandma's house here. I'm at the room I always sleep in. And every time I come over here, it's one of the best feelings of the fucking world. This is like heaven. Or like, it gives me, like, meditated in a sequence. And it's, it's, it's the best. It's, it's awesome. I enjoy it. I enjoy my I enjoy my grandmother's presence, and just watching this film and the way they acting, the character between Doris Roberts and Alan Covert, uh, you know, as the grandson to the uh, grandmother, I was very well, and I enjoyed. That's why I love this film. You know, it's just there's so much other funny scenes and there's uh, Linda Cornelia and he fucks her and shit. It's just unbelievable. And then I actually got to see the original ending because I actually liked the original ending. Then the, uh, well, it's on the deleted scenes, the original ending, and the regular ending that's on the film, the film ending. I, I enjoyed that because, you know, she's like, oh, we're gonna hang out. Let's so hang out and do something. Then do it. <laughs> do it. She's the dude where, like, he gives this nerd, like, shit. And he, he just goes, like, oh, man, let's sign me out. We'll do it. Make a fun of JP's voice. I, I enjoyed it. This movie is just one of the best fucking. Uh, films I've seen, one of the best comedies, one of the best stoner films of all time. I definitely recommend this film. Uh, it's but made by Happy Madison Productions. That's the Adam Sanders uh, production company, I think. Um, but this is awesome movie. You gotta check it out. You gotta fucking check it out. I was I was ready for it. I was medicated for it. I love the damn movie, and I'm probably gonna watch it again sometime because I do want to listen to the comedy. But thank you again, guys, for watching the simple review. It's kind of crazy today because I'm off the chain right now, you can see, because I did watch one hell of a fucking movie. And uh, that's the next movie out. I think we got, that's, I don't know how many movies we got left. I'm going to try and get the 20 done. I don't know if I can get 20. Well, yeah, I got 20. Okay. But, check out. We're in Malls Boy from 2006, one of the best films of all time, in my opinion. Uh, but yeah, check it out. I'm STS, and we'll see you again for another simple review. Peace.